Hi, my name is Keith Cooper and in this uh, short video I'm going to show you how to print on poster board using the Epson P700. You'll notice that I've got the printer pulled away from the wall here. That's because when poster board goes in it comes out the back. Anyway, you'll see that happening when I do it. I'm going to print a simple image on it and you'll see it's quite easy to set up and quite easy to do. Poster board needs to go in at the front here. To do that there is this tray that pulls out, which is the loading tray. Now we're going to use this loading tray for feeding the paper in, it comes out the back. On the screen here, it gives you a choice. There are three things you can load via the front. There's paper, th so thick art papers, CDs, which would be in the CD holder, or we're going to pick poster board, which is the option there. Printer does its stuff. You can see that there's a... Uh, Small animation here on the screen. It's quite good, gives you the basic guide of how to do things, but um, I'll show how it's done anyway. This is the board I'm going to print on. It's Epson poster board. The printing surface is a bright matte paper, uh, same as Epson archival matte. But anyway, to load it up, I have to feed it in the slot here. goes in and there is a little mark here that I line it up with. If I was using a different size board I'd set these two guides either side to use it to the side we want. It's now loaded in and I can tell the printer that I'm done. Now load this paper. It's already come out this far at the back. We get a double check. Have I loaded it okay? Okay. Asks me for the paper type, which is archival matte, A3 plus. Okay that. It should now draw the paper through. Here comes the card. It's coming out this far, out the back. Now I can tell you if you had your printer against the wall, it really doesn't like it when it shoves the card out the back and it encounters resistance. We're now set, the paper's loaded and we can print. One thing I would point out about printing on poster board is that it has quite large margins at either end. This is uh, the image in Epson print layout and I can show the size of those margins by just adding temporarily some colour to the margin. Now that black area is the printable area on board. So you can see that you've got an edges, thin edge of margins and a larger margin at each end. Uh, for printing on normal paper, you don't get that. You can print borderless. The screen here is showing the image that's being printed. I can get details of the print so it tells me what the settings are that it's using. The name of the file, localmap.psd, and it tells me it's taking another four minutes to print. This time, by the way, is quite accurate. Um, the printer knows how fast it's printing. It doesn't speed up or slow down at any time. So if it says there's four minutes left, I can pretty much bet there's four minutes left. And here comes the print. You'll notice it comes back out of the same loading tray it went in. You keep this loading tray down for card and a CD, but you put the loading tray back up for when you're printing art papers and they come out in the normal way, which is just underneath here. Here we are, it says a minute to go. I can see, because I've got the light turned on, in here I can actually see the print being printed. It's just binged and told me that paper may remain in the tray. Well yes I can see that. Uh, so all I do is press 
okay here. It releases it and I can take it out. I now have my print, which is a map of the local area. Uh, this dates from 1890, um, which was, ooh, I believe, two years after this house was built. So the street I'm on is only partially built on this map. Anyway, great stuff. You can print photos on this as well, but remember it is a map photo, but there are other types of poster board available. So that's printing poster board. The one thing I would say about if you're using board or the front feed and larger paper, remember you need the gap at the back here. Anyway, hope that's been of use. Um, there is lots more information about the P700 in the lengthy review I wrote, and that's linked to uh, in the notes with this video. So thank you very much.